Hi there. We're in the Petrified Forest National Park, and the thing that you see is actually a tree. And uh, we'll go and see outside um, in a few moments the real trees, but uh, I'll just show how that happened, why these trees became stones. So here's the scheme. The tree grows at the edge of the stream. When it dies, um, it loses its leaves, branches, and bark. And then, since it's a dead tree, a dead tree water easily uh, uh, undercuts it, and it falls into the stream, and then it flows a little, and then it snags on the bank, and is buried under sand and mud. And then, number eight, um, silica in the ground, in the ground water infiltrates the tree, replacing the organic, organic material with quartz crystals, and that's how the log is petrified. And then after some time, the erosion happens, and uh, ground itself, itself disappears, and the petrified wood uh, re-exposes. And then uh, some time later, the erosion uh, touches the tree itself, and then it cuts it into segments. And uh, now we'll go to see the real trees outside. So here we we're outside now. This area is called oh somebody's biting me. <laughs> this area is called giant di giant logs. I hope to see some giant logs over there. But uh, Christopher uh, just asked me, we saw that that's our first piece of tree. He asked me, how old is it? So... 216 million years old. Yeah, it's hard to believe. It, it dead uh, approximately uh, more than 200 million, million years ago. And they're so beautiful. Look at the, this white one. It's made of quartz. It looks like some kind of amethyst. It's all white, and this one it's is all black. This one is yellow and red. Look at these. Oh, I'm not. Yeah, and these have lots of different colors. tree but it's not look at the inside it's all fossilized it's all mineralized Here's a scenic overlook. See some islands there, and also down there, there are lots of fragments of this petrified trees all over. And this is the overlook and the trail called Crystal Forest because there are lots of petrified wood with uh, crystals in them.
here's probably some ancient housing fragment and also we see from here uh, these uh, rocks they, they look like they, they look like badlands in in the badlands national park they look very similar so it's beautiful they they sh there will be more uh, driving further even they say at the visitor center there's some colorful rocks but one more thing I want to show is this these trees look at the colors they look exactly like very uh, like normal fresh wood but it's not they're also petrified somehow they didn't change their colors maybe it depends on the exact place where they where they are, in what, in which stream they uh, drop, but it's absolute rock, and we see it's also crystallized. So here's the thing. There's a big log, a long one, called um, Agath Bridge, but obviously it is. Uh, salmon bridge underneath because it's, it's broken like all of these logs are fragile and they break after some time because of the erosion and there's a nice overlook and look at this panoramic view here's a, like a valley I think this dark brown stuff like sediment on the on the ground is uh, the ancient rivers floor and um, that's how this all this petrified forest appeared the river floated them and then buried them in this soft sediment.